By the end of this video, you'll see how you can use Microsoft Whiteboard on your phone. I'll go through the features, I'll demonstrate how to use it, and I'll even show you how you can collaborate with others that might be using Microsoft Whiteboard on their computer or their iPad. My name's Frank, I'm glad you're here. Let's go take a look at Microsoft Whiteboard on your phone. So the first thing that is you'll do is you'll install the Whiteboard app. It's available through the App Store. When you launch the Whiteboard, it'll launch the Whiteboard experience and you can start a new Whiteboard. You can check to see what account you're using if you click on the account button and then you can go in and do things like uh, find out information about the whiteboard, do enhanced shapes. But let's start a new whiteboard. And when I start a new whiteboard, you'll be surprised at all of the features I get. I can do things like export the whiteboard when I'm done as a high res image. So that can go into my iPhotos, for example. I can do things like I can share the whiteboard, have collaboration, have authorship on there so I can have uh, the names of whoever's collaborating on the whiteboard show up. I can change the background. Let's make this a blackboard. So I'll, I'll change the background to black, which means I'll have to go into my pens and underneath my pens, I'll hit the plus button. I'll choose the ink option. And you can see I've already got a pen here that's uh, using white chalk or white pen. So you scroll across the top, choose the white pen. I'll make my other one a nice uh, computer neon green here. So I've got the pens here. And then I can just use my finger to go in and start writing. So I can draw shapes with my finger using the touch screen of the uh, iPhone. In my case, I'm using an iPhone. I can go and erase when I'm done. So I can use my finger to erase things that I've put onto the, the board that I no longer want. Um, so you can see here, I can also go in and I can grab uh, the lasso. So actually grab the highlighter first. So if I grab the highlighter here, I can go in, I can change the thickness of the highlighter, highlight, make a real mess here and then I'll go in and erase this. So you can see I can highlight things and then I'll use the eraser to go through and get rid of things that I no longer want or I can use the lasso here and if I do use the lasso I can circle whatever I don't want. It'll highlight the elements of that and then I can go in and I can choose to delete it. I can straighten it out. I can delete it. I can do all the things that you'd expect to be able to do. So you can see that I have quite an extensive pen menu. I can change colors, lots of things. I can also add notes. So if I go in to add a note here, I can then use the uh, typing on my phone in order to put in text. I can change the background of the note. And if I like the note, I'll hit yes to, or the check mark to put it into my whiteboard on my phone. I can scroll in and out. I can zoom in and out just by pinching. So as you would expect with the phone. I can go in and change things like the fill color. I can put a reaction on there like a like or a heart. I can go in and I have the more menu here so I can do all sorts of things in terms of layering and, uh, and, and can customize the note exactly like I want it. I can also go in and copy the note for example. So I have maybe I want to make multiple copies of the same note. I can move them as a group or I can just select one and I can organize them that way as well. Later on we'll see that you can also do a note grid as well. I can go in and I can do things like add text. Now what's interesting here is because I've got the black background, I'm going to put in my text, but you'll notice that the text is also black. So it'll be fine if it's over a note, but then if I put it onto the, with a you know, black text on a black background, so I can select the object and I can go in and I can modify the fill for the text. And now you can see I've got the white text on the black background. So it really stands out. I can do things again like modify whether it's in the front layer, back layer, whatever I like. I can do things like bring in shapes. So if I want a shape and you'll notice that the shape has uh, text in it. So I can go in, I can change the background color or the fill color of the shape. If I click on the text in the shape, I can go in and I can type whatever I like in there. So I can say, you know, this is text uh, that's inside the shape here. I can even move it around and then I can, I can actually change the orientation through the orientation button. So you can see that I can, again, modify where I want to. I can change the, the, the um, around the text, the color. I can change the orientation. Lots of different options when it comes to the shapes and really making sure that I get what I like. You can have all sorts of images that you put in here. This is very cool because I can take a photo with my phone and then insert it into the whiteboard. In my case, I'll just take a file that I have on my phone here, a little icon, so I'll put that in there. But remember, you could take a picture with your phone and insert it right into the whiteboard as well. I could then go in here, I can 
uh, have reactions to this particular item. So different types of reactions, a check mark. It's a little bit small, but I can place it wherever I'd like and I can expand the size of it and place it exactly where I want. I can even go in and modify the properties of it. So once it's where I would like it to be, I can go in, I can tap on the object, I can do things like um, lock it in place, for example. Now it's locked, so that'll stay in that position on the whiteboard no matter what other objects I move around. Um, if I want to move it at that point, then I have to unlock it. So I have to unlock it if I want to move it. You can just double tap on it and then you have the option to unlock it and then you can move it around or you can change the size or whatever you'd like to do with it. So we have that option as well. So lots of different things I can do here. I can also go in and I have templates. Now the templates are really designed more for a larger screen but you can put these onto the board if you want to put them on there and then you can zoom in and zoom out on the template. So I'll just throw a random template in here. I'm drag some of the objects from the template. That was a little bit tricky. Notice a couple boxes got left behind. So you have to be a bit cautious of that. So you can see I've got my template in here and um, so I, I can zoom in. That's one way to work with the template. I don't generally work with templates on my phone. Uh, one of the things that is handy is documents. Now here I don't have any documents, but if I had documents that were part of the SharePoint sites or if I had documents that I recently used, I've been mostly using whiteboard recently on here, um, then you can bring that document into the whiteboard as well. So that can be handy if you want to bring in, for example, a PDF document and discuss that. I can bring in a notes grid so I can work with that, zoom in and zoom out as well. You can see that it's a really handy tool. Some of the really neat features are, well, all the features are neat, but I really like the ability to take a photo and have that inserted into the whiteboard. This could be very useful if you have people that are collaborating with you and, uh, and you want to do that. You can go, of course, and delete or rename the whiteboards as you would uh, with any whiteboard just by going to the home and hitting the ellipse and giving it a name. So. Um, imagine a field trip. If you had a bunch of students, they all had their phones with them. They could uh, collaborate on a whiteboard and take pictures around the school or around the, uh, around the park that they're in, whatever it might be, and it'd be kind of neat. Now, I can also share this out. So if I go to share the whiteboard, I can choose somebody in the organization, choose whether they can edit or just view. So in this case, I'm gonna invite Bruce to my whiteboard, and I'm gonna let Bruce not just uh, view, but I'm also going to allow him to edit. It's going to send an email to Bruce. So Bruce is going to receive an email with a link to the whiteboard. And when Bruce opens up that link to the whiteboard, it'll open up whiteboard on whatever device he's using. In this case, Bruce is using a computer. So it's going to open up the whiteboard and look what whiteboard it is. It's my whiteboard or it's our whiteboard because he's sharing with me. Notice that the objects I had are there. And when I move it around, you can see that it actually gives me the author's name on there. So anything that Bruce is doing, you'll see his name appear. So Bruce is going in there. He's working with some pens and such. He's going to write something on the whiteboard or the blackboard in this case. So he has to have a white pen. And notice when he's writing there, so he writes on there, notice his name appears. So there's attribution. So imagine if you had a whole bunch of people, they were all collaborating on the whiteboard. Maybe we want to do a whiteboard of your favorite things that you saw at school today and everybody could go out and, and take a picture of their favorite thing and it would appear on the whiteboard or they could take a picture of their pet at home if you're remote teaching or their favorite book or whatever it may be. There are, I mean, the possibilities here really are endless and having the ability to use the whiteboard on the phone makes this very much possible. So it's a very useful tool. Imagine just some of the possibilities that this opens up for you. People can view what's happening on their phones. People can participate through their phones. You could even use this as a great little note-taking app where you can bring in all of those different elements that I've shown you in this video. Comment down below on some of the things that you think you'll be able to do when you use Whiteboard on your phone. If you're interested in using Whiteboard on your computer, check out this video and check out this video on using Microsoft Whiteboard on your iPad. It's a very versatile tool that works across a lot of devices. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.